So in the last video, we have we have seen how to use for each method and how to use method reference. Now in this video, what we'll do is we'll remove this part and let's go ahead with some new methods. And let me remove this part also. Okay, now let's delete. Now let's say I want to use the same list and I want to print the values uh, by doubling all the values. So what we can do is we can double all the values with the help of enhance for loop. Now how to use enhance for loop here is we'll say first we'll define a define a method or a variable which is result and by default the value of the result will be zero. And then what we can do is we can use enhance for loop or a for loop or iterator to add all the values. We'll say int i colon and these values will be coming from these values. And then we'll say result equal to result plus uh, then it's i into 2. So what we are doing is we are doubling all the values and adding all the values which will, which will be stored in this result. Oh, why to double? Let's, let's first add all the values. So we'll, we'll go by step by step. So let's add all the values. Now, in, once you got this, let's, let's, uh, let's print the value of result here. And if I say run, you can see the output is it's 21, right? Uh, but hold on. What we are doing here? We are achieving something called as mutation here. It's because the value of result is continuously changed for six times. In fact, seven times. First is here. And then it will be changed for six times. Just imagine how much mutation you are going for. So every time you mutate a value, it makes your system unstable. Maybe not unstable, but you cannot achieve concurrency here. So to make your system very fast, you need to achieve concurrency. To achieve concurrency, we have to reduce the mutation here. Okay, so even if I multiply by 2, we are achieving one more mutation, which is i into 2. <coughs> so, so if I run this, you can see the answer is 42, right? But then question arises, how to, how to uh, ignore this and how to ignore mutation? How can you write a code without achieving mutation? So what we can do is, in Java 8, we got something called as Stream API. So Stream API says, what you want to print? Values? Go ahead, print the values. Let me just comment this part also because we don't require a variable result now. Okay, what you want to print? Print the values? Go ahead, print the values. But no, you don't want to print the values. You want to print the stream of values. Now, what is stream? Stream is a new method introduced in a, a collection interface or list interface. Or you can see if I go to if I go to this stream, it belongs to collection interface, and it's a default method. Okay, so it's a it what the what this method will do is it will convert your uh, collection into a stream. Now, once you got the object of stream here, just, just have a look. This stream method returns you the object of stream interface. Now, what is the stream interface here? This interface here, let me check. It's a, is it an interface here? Uh, if I go to stream, yeah, so it's an interface uh, which has multiple methods. We'll not go into the all these methods here. Okay, so it has multiple methods. And one of the methods we have to use here is to double the values, we will, we will use something called as map. So map needs an object of function. But instead of using function object here, we can use lambda expression. We can simply say, for every value of i, for all the values of this value values collection, take one value at a time, which is i, and apply the operation, which is i into 2. So this map will give you a stream of values and on that stream of values, you have to apply, you need to find the addition of all the numbers. Now, this reduce method will use a uh, object of binary operator. But instead of again creating object, we can simply use a uh, 0, comma 0, the initial value. So it will take two parameters. One is the initial value and then the binary operator. So we can use two values here. One will be C and E. C means carry, E means a value. And we can simply say C plus E. Okay. And I'm, I'm damn sure 
you will not understand anything from this. Don't worry. I'm not. Uh, I'm not here to scare you. I'm just showing you the way a stream API can achieve the same operation without mutation and in less number of lines. Then you will say, "What the use when we don't understand how to use it?" Hold on. Once you done with this video, in the next video, I will explain what exactly this method interface or, or how this map method works. So if I run this now, you can see output is still 42. That means it's working. So this thing here is same like this thing. Then question I write how it works, that we'll see in the next video.